bar graph a bar graph represents a data in an organized manner with the help of bars a bar graph can be horizontal and can be vertical a bar graph is easier to draw than pictograph in bar graphs we have two axes one axis where the categories are compared and the other axis will have the numerical values that represent the values of the data if the descriptions are on the horizontal axis then the bars will be vertical and if the descriptions are on the vertical axis then the bars will be horizontal let us understand bar graph by interpreting the data they represent siddhant recorded the number of bikes sold in each month from january to may with this bar graph this bar graph shows the sale of bikes from january to may the width of the bars should be equal to the distance between the bars it is clear from the bar graph that sale of bikes was the maximum in the month of may sale of bikes was the least in the month of april the sale of bike exceeded in the month of feb by 60 as compared to the sale of bikes in january let us interpret another bar graph mr sharma recorded the data of his business expenditure as a bar graph look at this bar graph this shows the business expenditure on advertisement insurance utilities salaries and rent each unit is equal to rupees 25 it is clear from the graph that the maximum expenditure is on salaries the minimum expenditure is on insurance the difference between the expenditures of advertising and utilities is rupees 250 let us now understand how to draw a bar graph with this example the number of mattresses manufactured by a factory during five consecutive weeks is as follows depict the data using bar graph we can draw the bar graph on a graph paper the first step is to draw a horizontal and vertical lines and name it as oa and ob next step is to label these axes we know that categories are represented on the horizontal axis and the values of the categories are represented on the vertical axis in this problem the categories are the weeks that is first week second week third week fourth week and the fifth week the value of categories are the number of mattresses which are to be marked on the vertical axis the next step is to choose a suitable scale look at the numbers we have 650 800 750 300 900 we have to mark this numbers on the vertical axis we can mark the vertical axis with numbers like 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 and 900 we can stop at 900 as we don't have number of mattresses beyond 900 so the scale we have chosen here is 1 cm equal to 100 number of mattresses along the vertical axis next mark the weeks on the horizontal axis In the first week numbers of mattresses manufactured are 650 so draw a vertical bar at the point representing first week on the horizontal axis the height of the bar will be 650 on the vertical axis similarly in the second week 800 mattresses are manufactured so draw a vertical bar at the point representing second week on the horizontal axis the height of the bar will be till 800 plotting in the similar manner we get the complete bar graph in which week the number of mattresses are manufactured the most it is clear from the graph that in the 5th week the number of manufacturing the mattresses were the most 
the same data can be represented by interchanging the position of weeks and number of mattresses.